Hey, welcome to Early Family Farm. So on this video, we're going to show you how we built our maple syrup vacuum system. Uh, we wanted to do uh, something very simple, um, very budget friendly. Uh, so this whole system only cost us about 120 bucks to build. Um, so this is for the, uh, the trees that we tapped on that hose system in a previous video. Uh, so if you like the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. Let's get started. So we're building this maple syrup vacuum system and we're gonna use a 55 gallon drum, a vacuum pump and a few different connections. So we have our spout right here. We have our vacuum pump right here. We have a gauge and then a few connections. I wanted to put this whole thing together um, for as cheap as possible. Uh, this pump here you can get on Amazon. It was about 60 bucks. Um, the rest of these connections cost me about $45. Uh, I was able to get uh, this drum here from Kristen's dad uh, that he picked up for free. Um, and then I also had this uh, barrel holder. So my idea is uh, that this system would turn on and turn off about every 15 minutes. So it would turn on for 15 minutes and turn off for 15 minutes and it would keep the vacuum relatively stable uh, if there's not many leaks on the uh, maple syrup line. So we're gonna go ahead and put this together and try it out. Let's get started. So we're gonna get started on putting the, uh, the spout on. This will be our, our way for us to remove uh, the sap in this barrel without having to disconnect the lid and everything else. So we're going to use um, these parts here, remove this little lid, we'll put a little bit of the uh, stuff on the tape that comes with it on. Just like so. So I got these, uh, they're like through hole fittings here. And they got a, a washer on either side, rubber, rubber gasket washer. So when I drill this, I'll be able to put a washer on either side. And then that'll give me a, an airtight fitting. So I'll have one here. That'll probably be the, the sap into the tank. And then we'll have one that's identical to that. That'll be the, the vacuum. So we can have it so that one is, you know, slightly higher than the other one. You can have it in line um, so that the vacuum one's up here and it's pulling a vacuum on the tank, which in turn is going to pull a vacuum on the line. And then every time you want to say, you see the, the sap, um, the sap level starting to rise and you, you don't want it to get too high, you can uh, turn the pump off, let out some sap into say a five gallon bucket and then be able to kind of keep this monitored. So that's, that's the idea in theory. So I put a mark here, this will be our sap in and then I put a mark here which will be our vacuum out. So we got our little hole saw that came with the parts. one 
take a file and make sure we get all these little bits off around the holes, get the holes cleaned up. That'll do it. I really wanted to do this primarily for just micro setups. So like this small sugar bush that has like 20 trees on it. Um, this would be a very economical, simple way to do a vacuum system. And I will put a uh, list of all the parts that I used to build this in the description below and at the end of the video. So here's the drum up on the stand. So what we're gonna do next is get the pump set up. And the pump, pretty straightforward. So this thing has got two different connection, connection points, uh, two different types. I forget what type that one is, but I bought this one that's got the little flared end. So that goes on there and then we fill the Fill the pump with oil. Um, I'm thinking about putting this pump inside of a uh, five gallon bucket with um, some holes drilled into it on the side for uh, air intake. Uh, that way it keeps the pump out of the elements. Um, so I think that's gonna be the simplest way uh, to get that set up. So. So this part was kind of unanticipated. I ordered what I believed was the proper fitting for this guy, um, but it does not couple up properly. So I had to go into my plumbing drawer and found some pieces that will actually work for this. Um, so I'm gonna get this uh, taped up and tightened and we should be well on our way. So we got everything set up over here at the uh, sap line. Got our lines hooked up. So this is our sap line from the whole run here. And this one is our vacuum line. That runs down. I put it inside this small little tote box. I drilled some holes so they can breathe. Put six one inch holes so that's hooked up to there so this keeps the pump out of the elements but we got everything connected so let's plug it in so it's plugged in there's a little switch on the back here so it's on And take some little bit of time, pull a vacuum on everything. Sounds like we got one little leak, but you can see sap's getting pulled right through the line very nicely. That's good. Probably be chasing a few more of the leaks. See if I can get them all figured out but it is it is definitely working right now so I just turned the vacuum pump off I had it running for the whole morning and just pulled this out of the uh, out of the drum 
it looks like it's probably almost three gallons, two and a half gallons. So that's pretty good. I mean, part of that may have been what was left in the, uh, in the lines and was able to start actually pulling some from the trees, but it's definitely working. So we'll start to do a batch probably later today. Um, cook down some sap. Getting pretty hot. Almost up the temp. Got a nice cool base in there. A whole lot of steam off the top. It's working pretty good.